Hello, I'm Lisa Ramsey, founder of Medi-Cal Consulting Services. There are so many different programs under the umbrella of Medi-Cal. The purpose of this video is to simplify the information so that you can be more successful. Let's start by identifying the three types of Medi-Cal. The three types are SSI Medi-Cal, Traditional Medi-Cal, and Magi Medi-Cal with additional subcategories. SSI Medi-Cal is managed by the Social Security Office. The SSI Medi-Cal benefit is part of the Supplemental Security Income Program. If an individual or couple has an income under the federal benefit rate, then the applicant is entitled to an income to bring their total income up to the federal benefit rate. This may be their only source of income, or it may be a check issued in addition to their existing income. An individual or couple does not need to apply for Medi-Cal separately. Once the SSI is approved, they will receive Medi-Cal benefits. Again, there's no separate application for SSI Medi-Cal. Traditional Medi-Cal is meant for those over the age of 65, blind, disabled, or children under the age of 19, not covered by the newer Magi Medi-Cal. Now, traditional Medi-Cal is based on assets, not income. A traditional Medi-Cal household is spouses and minor children only. Tax households are irrelevant. With traditional Medi-Cal, all the eligibility is not based on income. Your income can affect how you're able to use the Medi-Cal benefits. We can review those income amounts and determine how best to approach a Medi-Cal application during your free consultation. The third type of Medi-Cal is MAGI Medi-Cal. MAGI stands for Modified Adjusted Gross Income. This Medi-Cal is based solely on income, not assets, and for those between the ages of 19 to 64. The MAGI Medi-Cal household is a tax household. On January 1, 2014, California expanded Medi-Cal eligibility with MAGI Medi-Cal to include low-income adults with income below the 138% federal poverty level program. And please note that the limits increase significantly for children in the household. So, it is possible the income is too high to insure the adults, but still be under the limit to insure the children. My team and I are here to help you with all your Medi-Cal questions, so feel free to contact us about a free consultation. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit our website for other frequently asked questions.